Welcome back everyone this is Rashika Singh and today we are going to discuss the another topic that is based on the binary solution. In the first video I discuss about the types of solution binary, quart, uh, ternary and the quaternary and the types of solution the binary, uh, ternary and quaternary are based on the presence of components in it. So on the basis of the components if two components are present then the type of solution is known as binary solution and in this we are we have to discuss its uh, the types of solution that binary solution how many types of binary solution we will get what type of solid we are having many uh, discussion are uh, left over here so first we are going to start with the binary solution number one uh, type of solution we are having is solid and solid type of solution. Solid and solid type of solution I also discussed that are alloys. Alloys are the solid and solid type of solution. Now what is the now what is the difference uh, what we are going to discuss. The solid and solid type of solution that is obviously the binary solution. The solid and solid type of solution example is alloy. It is further subdivided into two categories that is one is substitutional solid that you must have a study in the solid state that I am going to introduce the solid state very soon. The, that chapter very soon okay. The substitutional solid and the interstitial uh, solid. In, in, this, in that chapter in the upcoming video that obviously we will discuss about the amorphous solid, the crystalline solid that is another part. First we, are, uh, we have to study this uh, chapter that is solution. So solution is also having this uh, topic that is substitutional solid and the interstitial solid. Now what is substitutional solid? Again I am repeating one thing that it is solid and solid type of solution. First category we are having from the uh, solid and solid type of solution. First category we are having from binary solution. Solid and solid alloys are the example. It is further divided into two types that is one is substitutional, another one is interstitial. Now what is substitutional solid? What do you understand by this? Substitute. Substitute means what does that mean? Substitute. If you are going to substitute one thing by the another thing, if any one, if your um, anything you are going to substitute sub, some uh, in market, some product is short. Okay, it is the, the not having that shopkeeper is not having. Then you you said ki okay, then give me that one. So you are just substituting. So substitution means that some of the property should be same only then you are able to substitute the given thing or the given compound yes and the same thing is applicable in the substitutional solid. If the size of the solute and solvent are almost similar again listen please if the size of the solute and the solvent are almost similar then we are having a type of solution that is substitutional solid. I am not saying ki the amount of the solute and solvent is same. I said if the size of the solute and solvent are almost same then we are having a type of sol solid that is termed as substitutional solid. Example is iron uh, uh, plus copper. We can substitute iron by copper or copper by iron. How? Because both iron and copper belongs to the same series of element that belongs to the D block element. So the properties are also same. So one can substitute the other. Yes or no? Obviously yes. One can substitute the other. So if the so size of the solute and the solvent are almost similar then the type of solid will be substitutional solid and for if you want to give the example then you have to give the example of that element which belongs to the same series that are having the same property the same characteristic that one can replace the another one or one can substitute the another one. Example we are having that brass bronze that is alloys obviously gold gold now gold gold it is very not 24 karat gold 22 karat gold 22 karat gold ex example of substitutional solid or many other examples are there now we will discuss about the interstitial solid what are interstitial solid if the size of the solute and solvent are not similar 
obviously then type of solute will be uh, type of so solid will be interstitial solid okay now interstitial solid first we discuss about the substitutional solid if the uh, size of the solute and solvent are almost similar example was what was the example it was iron plus chromium because both belongs to the same series of element that t block element so they uh, are having similar type of property one can replace other so that is all about the substitutional solid now we are going to discuss about the interstitial solid what is interstitial solids interstitial solid if the size of the solute and solvent are not same or dissimilar then the type of solid we will get it it is interstitial solid example is iron plus carbon obviously iron is the different uh, kind of property iron is having and carbon is very different kind of property uh, carbon is having so both are very dissimilar in nature both are having different physical and chemical properties so they comes in the interstitial solid another example that is very important that is tungsten carbide tungsten carbide is represented by the wc it is also a interstitial type of uh, solid in which the solute and the solvent size is dissimilar so here we are done with the first type of solid in solid now we will discuss about solid in liquids then liquid in liquids and so on okay